Keith, I'm going to admit something to you. I've, ha I've had improv classes from people other than you. Um, and I've heard things like, it's a rule, don't ask questions in yes, improv. Yes, yes. Uh, or I've heard in an improv class, narrative is dead. Um, <laughs> these, they, I think these are funny people. Or it's rude. It's, there was, this is what they I were, heard most recently. They were recently. just teasing you. No, they were so <laughs> serious. No, they can't be. They were so serious. I was, yes. And, or I heard recently that it's rude to endow another person with their character when you're improvising. Because well, of Spolin. Uh, yes, said. they said. They said in the Spolin mm. tradition, it's, it's rude to endow someone else with their character. She has control. about six or seven at least games on how to endow people. <laughs> I mean... So what do you think of these rules? Or, or the rule, there's a, I've, heard, I've heard you use this phrase, the cult of yes and, that you have to say yes to every idea. Partly my mistake. I should have explained that, but no, it's not. Idiots will do it anyway. But uh, improv, the games, the, 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 the things you teach, like not to block and not to cancel and not to wimp and not to have instant trouble and all those things are when you beginners and you're learning. Mm -hmm. Once you're an experienced improviser, it's ridiculous not to kill ideas because some ideas deserve a quick death. <laughs> so when you kill an idea, when you're a good improviser, if, if it's questioned, yeah. we have to say, why did you kill the idea? And if you say, I was afraid where it might lead, we say, well, you shouldn't have killed it because we want to see where it would go. Mm -hmm. If you say it was more fun for my partner, mm -hmm. then you say yes. Because if you say yes to everything, it's all floppy. There's yeah. no resistance. Mm -hmm. You have to say, yeah, a story which only says yes is a very limited story form. But so they, it's, for, it's for beginners. Right. Questions. Somebody must have asked questions in order not to contribute anything. It would be a form of like hedging. Yeah. Well, that person should be no, told not to ask questions. You should have the question police at the side, and every time this person asks a question, the question police should come on stage and drag him or her off. <laughs> Until they learn. Until they learn. But, to make it, but then it would become, a, somebody would say, a rule for that person. Mm -hmm. But if you never ask questions, it's, it's, it's so stupid. Yeah. Why are you wearing that uniform, Jenkins? I mean, you can't say that. Uh, yeah. It's your birthday, sir. <laughs> so it is. <laughs> File a salute. Put the flag up. I'm yeah. Like, oh. yeah, sure. Mm -hmm. Not to ask questions is so stupid. What's hedging? Hedging is when you won't come clean about something. You keep putting it off. You like. Oh, it's like where well, you saw it today, word at a time, with adjectives. That's we go into the forest and see a big, huge, large, green, many-legged. <laughs> how, they, well, they, how won't, they won't say a noun. They won't say a noun. They won't be specific. How is that? What's the difference between hedging and wimping? I'm going to ask you a quiz, I don't know. quiz you on your vocabulary. I'd have to look it up in the book. Yeah. I thought uh, wimping I was... I wasn't sure about hedging. Uh -huh. Wimping is, again, not making a definition. Yeah. But I must have defined hedging in my life at some time. I, so if, if my memory serves me, and it doesn't most of the time, I thought wimping was refusing to, to say the noun or to identify. That hedging is looking for a good idea. Like that we could go to the store. Yeah, but first we have to paint the bedroom or... Delaying unnecessarily. Delaying, yeah. What's that? I don't know. <laughs> Would be wimping. Yes. Because they won't define... Yeah. Okay. But all that's for beginners. All do it. A, a master improviser can do what they like. It's ridiculous to shackle people. Mm -hmm. Huh. I, are they trying to help? Or are they trying to screw people up? It sounds like they're trying to screw people up. Because mm. it doesn't help. Because it doesn't help. Yeah. And who are these people? Bureaucrats? Who are they? I mean, are they good improvisers? Improv teacher? I don't know. Yeah. If they're teaching, do they know? Uh, yeah. Uh, okay. With Bernard Shaw had that thing about those who know do, those who can't, those who can do, those who can't teach. Right. 
There's a lot of that. A lot of that. 